Hey there, it's Raven Scry. Back at the ocean down here. It's pretty grey today and the wind is icy cold and I'm nestled in a rock face, or well, next to a rock face, to try and get a little bit um, of shelter from the wind because I don't want it to uh, get too windy in the microphone because it'd be awful for you guys. So let's hope that it's going to work. How are we all? How are we doing? Um, I was just wanting to check in and just make a little connection today. Maybe open it up for something fun. Um, we can go to crypto and just get anything Spirit might want to share um, around it. Uh, I put out a video yesterday with Sol and Nia and Casper, which I, um, many of you enjoyed. I know it's been a while since I've done crypto kind of videos, um, like earlier in the year, but I will be doing more of those and, yeah, just really trying to get an idea of what, what are we doing there, you know, and I'm like, well, it really comes down to bringing in abundance and wealth. Um, for me, but in a holistic sense, you know, like it's not just let's just r get rich quick and you know live happily ever after. I mean, obviously that's great, but in terms of the depth of the the holistic element of expansion and evolvement, you know, because if you if you get money that comes to you and it's you're limited in all these other ways, it can you know certainly not be the best experience so really coming into wealth in the fullest sense of our beings you know so we can really offer that heart space to the rest of the planet and that's my idea i was just thinking about that today and i'm like that's that's what i'm here for uh let me know are you guys does that sound good to you guys as well you know and, and i think too you know it's like my background in psychic mediumship um, abilities on many levels uh, you know there's been a lot of that over the years that I've learned and integrated and really being able to support you guys to open that part those parts of yourself up so that you can read you know it's not about me being the one to tell you you know it's about you going oh wow I can tune into spirit and my own heart and it's all there you know the answers are all there but just how can how can I open up to that how how can I how can I listen how can I welcome spirits communication and perhaps just be sensitive enough to notice and it's like little steps by little steps and we you know we have this conversation with other dimensions, other realms, other other beings from other other places. So, yeah, that's that's why why I'm here. Uh, so, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys and see if you're, you're on the same page. So, um, yeah, I might not stay for too long today, but um, I'm just going to connect in for a bit of fun. And I'm just going to connect in with Spirit and ask, ask if they've got anything to share. But also, I'll ask them a, a crypto question that, you know, might be exciting, might be interesting, you know. And I always want to keep it light and fun. You know, some of these questions that I've asked Spirit around 100Xs and things, you know, certainly haven't been too bad. Like, we've had a few interesting movements um, with Troll and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so, okay, I'm just going to open up. Spirit's just wanting to say, don't go all in on all of any of this. Is like, the first thing I hear is, like, don't go all in. Okay, so they're, they're agreeing to play this little game, but they're just erring on the side of caution because, <laughs> obviously, they, they may mention something that's going to end up being quite volatile, which is the sense that I'm getting from why they'd say that. Okay. Anything to say and share, Spirit? Um, 
around crypto. Okay, we're just going to get into it. All right, something that's going to do very well in the next few months. Um, you know, very well. Okay, can we make it 50x? Yes, okay, 50x. Uh, okay. All right, now they're showing me a trampoline. Um, I'm just going to go with it. Uh, maybe we can see later, you know, what this is referring to it might become more clear. Uh, so they're bouncing on this trampoline. They're bouncing up to layers higher, and it's essentially it's a chart. Someone's jumping on the tr jumping on the on the trampoline, bouncing up, boom, higher, and then down, and then boom, higher. It's like they're they're doing this this jumping. Uh, so it feels as though this could be connected in the way the price is going to move with what they're referencing here. Um, Okay, so what more um, can you give us around this around this crypto that's going to do very well over the next few months, Spirit? Okay, so they're handing me a bag of coins. Um, okay. And it's like I've got all the coins and I've spread them out um, on the sand. It's like they're out. It's just out in front of me. Um... And there's just all these gold coins, and I'm looking at them. Uh, and there's a couple of coloured ones, interesting. Uh, now there's a red coloured one, and there's an A on it. Um, there's a red one and there's a green one. So the red one's got an A on it. And then I'm just, yeah, I'm just aware that there's a green one. So it's like all of these... Coins are golden colours, but then they're pointing out there's a red one and a green one as well in these coins. Um, and I ask, okay, well, what's the significance of the red and the green coin? Is there, like, help me to understand this a little bit more. Talking about opening up wider. Um, into understanding the collective and the masses involved here. It's like they're showing me the coins now, and the coins are turning into an audience. They're turning into a collective of people, but it's like you'd look out into the crowd of, you know, at a, at a show or something, and you'd see all the people, masses of people, um, and they're pointing to a certain area of the people, and somehow this is connected to these coins that they're showing. You know, there's some consistency with the colouring, but then there is this change and this different difference within within them so so looking out into this crowd they're pointing um, they're pointing actually to a girl um, and, she, and you know as I connect to her she's got long hair um, and she's got a coin in her hand um, and she throws the coin into the air and it, it's like it's um, it's like it's some sort of fireworks, you know. Like she throws it up and it goes boom and explodes, um, you know, into all these lights. Um, okay, I'm just going to ask, you know, spirit, help me to understand this a bit more. You know, what more? Can you share around this scene? Because, you know, as far as it's being shown, it's just being shown like this story. Um, but just, yeah, a bit more context, a bit more relevance, please, Spirit. We're talking about this explosion of growth, eruption, uh, soon. You know, but it's interesting too, that if, I hate to say it, but there's this, is this sense in it with this girl throwing this something into the air it's like it's reminding me of Luna because when just before Luna exploded um, or collapsed you know when the whole Luna debacle a couple of years a couple of years back yeah a while back spirit did a reading and there was some extremely interesting um, things that came up around Luna and it being thrown into the sky, like there's some similarity there. Um, 
So, you know, I'm not saying that it's definitely, you know, that in context to a crash like Luna, but there is just this sense of the sameness that they show with this woman, with this girl that, that throws this into the air. Okay, so um, anything else they wish to show? Because I don't feel like we've got a great deal of clarity here, Spirit. Is there anything more? Um, about a particular token, I feel as though they're trying to talk about boom bust cycles, you know. And often when I read for one coin, or we'll try to get into focusing into the intention of one coin, it's like they want to fill me up with all the other crypto information of what they, you know, what the larger market's doing, which is great, but sometimes it's, you know, they're talking about the high volatility levels and just this boom bust you know it's ex there's an extreme that that comes in here in the way that they're sharing it but in regards to this particular token to do very well um, give me something more around this please spirit talking about jeopardy double jeopardy and they're showing me two two double double jeopardy um And they're showing me a game, double jeopardy in this game. There's reference to the person on the trampoline again, so this, like, jumping to different heights. Um, you know, it has a very much of a casino element to it, like it is risky. This is very risky, whatever they're referring to here. Um, I ask for anything else uh, around this, because I feel as though I want to wind it up um, and not go on too long. Sixes. It's talking about sixes and stamp, and stamping. Sixes. Um, yeah, double jeopardy. It's interesting because they're not really giving. You know, like when we had stuff around the dinosaur eggs and all of this type of thing. You know, in one of the past readings, uh, you know, there's more direct links, and perhaps I'm just not seeing them as I'm as I'm speaking them here, but. Um, I feel as though this is all they want to give around this because uh, there is an erring on the side of caution and it's like whatever pumps quite a lot is going to drop quite a lot so it feels like a very high volatility reference uh, that they've gone to here so they're saying don't go all in um, but yeah if you guys can make sense of what's come through here uh, double jeopardy um, to they're talking about this, this rebounding off this trampoline uh, to different highs high volatility boom bust um, and these coins these golden coins with two that are different different colors and you know it turns into the ocean uh, of an ocean of people um, which is largely the collective and then there's the woman that we you know focus into and she throws something up into the sky and it gives us fireworks but it is a cautionary element of boom bust so that's about all I have there uh, from spirit with that and so I'm going to leave it with with you guys. And if you've got vibes around what's come through or connections of what you feel it may be, please don't hesitate to drop drop a comment below. Um, you know, they're always sometimes when I'm doing these readings, they're so like it's I'm going along for the ride. It's I'm going along for a ride, and I have no clue where we're going often. And so sometimes I'm, I'm at parts of it and I'm like, okay, well, what happens next? You know, so it's, and the only thing I can do is give what, what they give and then give it space and room to breathe. And I think you guys are very involved with it too. So whatever you guys have to add is very important to the mix as well. Um, so yeah, please pop ideas and comments below and I'll revisit this and see if we can dig a little deeper into what they're talking about. But I'm going to do a crypto um, update for July uh, very soon. That's going to be coming because it's feels like it's a you know it's an interesting time, and a lot of people are asking me um, about it as well. They're asking me about possible. 
they're asking me about sorry i've just noticed that my camera's probably going to drop off in a minute and just cut me out cut me off but i'm going to keep talking so yeah july there being possible dicey energy a lot of people keep reporting to me about certain things that that have been predicted by other people and you know it's interesting that because it's like it can create itself uh or the fact that people have got all their energy on it it's almost like it doesn't it's not created interesting one when um people want me to look into others predictions but you know i will i am going to look into july uh, just see what comes through um and offer that and i'm going to do that yeah in the next few days and also a collective reading um for the overall energies of what's going on too you know and often you know spirit brings in crypto into all these readings it seems to be part of the whole uh process um yeah so so i'm going to i'm looking forward to doing those things and also just connecting in more to the magic of you know being a psychic medium and and these abilities and sharing these gifts with you guys so you guys can implement them into your own lives because i feel that's very important too okay i'm going to leave it there as uh, the clouds are coming in closer and the the day is winding up so before the the ocean comes too close i better i better hop off this beach okay blessings to all and i'll see you soon ravenscry signing off